Yes, what was happening is this is what this is exactly what I heard, and I may exaggerate. I heard this. exercise to do that but I don't think what value that necessarily has here because you want to go beyond these accents and you want to still have the singing pulse but it's not going to be like jumping out yes, like a, right. a mentor telling you you know right. please do that <laughs> so I would say um, when you, before you did that you didn't do it in the slow you know when you started mm -hmm. when you double speeded it you became very reinforcing of your every four sixteenths for some reason you went every four you gave me a like a reminder that you were gonna do that so we don't want to do that. We still want to have the singing pulse. We want to go. The beat's still there, right? So I did the whole thing with a, you know, a singing pulse, but I didn't have to like bring out these accents, which becomes disturbing of the flow mm -hmm. of the. Um, Okay. Very nice. However, what I began to realize is when you did the staccato, it wasn't going to be big enough to, to make the contrast <coughs> and turn around, right? Mm -hmm. So you need a bigger staccato with more forearm, and you're still keeping the beat going across without at one note jumping out on, over the other. Mm -hmm. So let's you and I do the harmonic, big forearm, mm -hmm. come around and just let up your arm weight. And, and, and don't do wrist, just do half weight forearm, okay? That's what we're doing for this. Forced accents to right. for what reason? I mean, in other words, whatever beats going through is inside of you, but it doesn't need to be yeah. conspicuously disrupting a flow across. Right. Pretty good, pretty good. See, with me though, the way I feel that musically, you have to have a little extra fuel. On your turnaround now, don't you? Yes. Because you don't want to peter it out. Yes. You know I mean? At the same time, you don't want to like stick an accent between my eyes. So you have to do something very subtle. You have to think, what am I going to do? No, I actually did that, mm -hmm. didn't I? Because mm -hmm. that stopped that sort of angle. Because we don't want the angle at the top. We want the rounded, the rounded corner. Mm -hmm. Around. Yeah, and for me, I sometimes do a little wrist dipping. It's like a, it's like a rotation because I mm -hmm. dip like this and I come around. You dip a little. Dip instead of using your finger to do that. Okay. Okay, so don't use a finger impulse there. Mm. Use a little wrist playing the finger mm. at the end. Yeah, try that idea. Mm. Yeah, if I came over, I'd probably go and get to that last note. I would check that you have that sponge on the five. See, like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so instead of stiffening up, that's yeah. not going to get you any mm -hmm. nowhere. Okay. So. Yeah, because I would I would 
would put some more air in there, but I'd go, ah, ee, ee, like a singer would go, deep, 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 deep right? They'd go, oh, ah, ee, oh, ah, ee. You know, you're coming down from the black. Yeah, yeah, and look, like, look. But then it's doing that, right? Because it's going to natural. Right. Do wa, do wa, do wa, do wa. Yeah, I'm actually doing. I mean, I'm isolating the motion. Do wa, do wa. And notice, I want a little more depth into that note because it's got to turn me around and bring me back home with mm -hmm. energy back down. It's a very tricky place. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Very smooth. Very curvy. Very relaxed. Breathing. There's a breath through that. Because that's where most students get crowded and tight, is right at those turnaround areas. Because for some reason they go, oh, I've got to go down, and I'm switching my notes. I've got natural notes coming down. and mm -hmm. So they get bogged down in all the little intricacies of what notes they're playing instead of the flow. Right.